it seems that what we what we're meeting here for is to try to describe or try to point to what's indescribable. Any description is going to be concepts and ideas and words. And what's 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 being pointed to is that which is beyond concepts, ideas and words. And when I say beyond concepts, ideas and words, it sounds like it would be somewhere else. And this this contracted sense of self is always looking for something else. And the reality is, it's, it's what's happening. And it's what's happening, as a perception, what's happening seems like a real experience. It's like, this is happening. And when there's a center there, it says, so this is happening to me. And the center is always trying to make sense of what's happening to it. The problem begins, though, with this is happening to me. The reality is that the happening is empty. So, or, or, or the happening is nothing happening. So this is nothing moving. It's the same thing, nothing and everything are the same thing. The problem for the contracted sense of self is it wants some place, it wants a position, it needs a position. So if I realize nothing, I have a position. I know nothing. I am nothing. Nothing is the highest thing I can be. It's nothing. I've stopped thinking. I don't think. I'm detached. Um, everything is nothing. So I know that everything is nothing. What I can do nothing with is that everything is nothing, or that nothing is everything. It's the same exact thing. So there's actually no position for me to be in anymore. There's just what's happening, without content or context. It's incredibly vitally alive. It, and it's not somewhere else, it's this. It's exactly this. It's what's happening. It's everything that's happening. And without context, content, what's happening is imperfect, because it couldn't be another way. It's also always new, because it never was before. There's no context to this. It's simply a happening, a singular, spontaneous happening, an appearance of everything. It's a big, a big bang. Every it's the big bang. There's no every moment. There's only this. <laughs> so why is science not um, exploring this? They do. They do. They do absolutely. And and what what really gets them, or their problem is, there's somebody looking. One I love is Max Planck, got back to the Big Bang at 10 to the minus 32 yeah. seconds or something, which is really close. Yeah. And I always thought that's how long it took him to think of that. So there's still a movement, like this higgs Bonson uh -huh. feel that they've got. Uh -huh. What they say is it's a movement back and forth that gives mass to every. So actually, in science is moving towards... Absolutely. Okay. <coughs> so maybe in 20 years? Well, the point is that I will never, I can't know this. I, I don't know this. It's not perceptible. This isn't a perception that this body has, that everything is nothing. Just like I couldn't possibly say there's no one here. There's just no one here. And this is nothing being everything. That's just the way it is. And that's not scientific. It can't be proved. The experience? It's not an experience, but it's... In a way... But still, I'm, I'm experiencing something. Yeah, exactly, that's the problem. So, but there's no escape. From this. From experiencing. Well, not for I. For I. Not for the computer. Yeah, the I cannot ex escape itself. Exactly. Yeah. 
but it can and does die. Either either in the body mm -hmm. or when the body dies. So can I And what's left is what is. Which is this. So I cannot uh, realize it as long as I am thinking of an eye. There aren't two eyes, I will never realize it. Yeah, that's actually what I mean. Um, yeah. I'm the denial of it. So every every attempt to do this is makes no sense. Well, it, well, it's hopeless. It's hopeless. Yeah. But I can't do anything but everything I do is an effort to find or solve the problem of myself. Everything. And although it's a denial, because what the, what the contraction is saying is that something needs to happen, this isn't it, it's still what is. It's still nothing appearing as an I that's trying to find the end to itself. The, the problem I have sometimes is that this, uh, still I'm alive in some ways. Yeah. I have to do my daily life, yeah. And uh, I have to make decisions. You know, so where yeah. do they come from? Yeah. So you were never. Mm -hmm. There's no one ever made a decision. So and you you don't have a life. There's simply what appears to be happening. It's interesting. I get it, and I don't get it. Same here. Okay. So I'm not wrong. No, there's nothing wrong. But you talk about death and being... Got it? Did I get it, or don't I get it? But there's a, there's a... Well, when it's recognized, there's no doubt. Okay. It's, it's absolutely clear. Mm -hmm. that but it, it is it's just the last two seconds. Well... That would be a glimpse. Okay. So there's still glimpses. Yeah, there could be glimpses yeah. and awakenings. But uh, is there a way to, to have this glimpse long? Huh? Yeah. Well, what that if there were, that would mean the I is real and could do something. Yeah. The I isn't real and is completely hopeless in its. In its, in its own experience. So if a realization happens, it happens. Exactly. Without any effort. That's right. So you can do nothing about it. For or against, well the reason you can't is because there's no you and there never was any distance. The you is completely immersed in water asking where, how to get wet. One thing I would like to talk is, is something I experienced lately is like um, the world, you know, the world and as a debate, the Tushan debate, the other world, what's happening, yeah, that it doesn't touch me anymore. And I'm kind of, what's going on? Yeah, you know what I mean? Well, like, I understand what you're saying, yeah. yeah. That's a story. If it touches you, it doesn't touch you. There's no relevance to it. Yes, okay. Because I'm I'm always in, so in, in so abgestumpft, yeah. yeah. Dass ich, dass mich nichts mehr berührt. Mm. Yeah. But uh, that's all a story. It's all a story. Absolutely. Okay. It's just what's happening. So that when I'm kind of oh God, you know, it's happening. Mm. And, uh, and I don't the, care, the, that's the, also happening. The contracted sense of self thinks that what's happening to it is important. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It always point. does. Yeah, that, because that's, that's what I'm thinking. Is it important? Nothing. What I think about this Nothing's important. 
Nothing matters. Nothing matters. No. That's what is, nothing mattering. Okay, that gives me some relief. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> In my story. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Check the cat. This is an extremely unpopular message, as you can imagine, because it does absolutely nothing for the seeker. It's amazing that anybody shows up. Because there's, there's just, what it really does is it undermines anything and everything the seeker, the separate sense of self, could have. It leaves it completely positionless. There's nowhere for it to be. The one thing that the contracted sense of I can't recognize is that this experience is an appearance. It's the timeless appearing as time. It's just an experience. It's just an appearance. But if you come to meetings for so long, like I'm going to meetings from Tony Parsons now more than 10 years and, and nothing happened really or I... Well, you got it! <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean and that is what the contracted sense of self is always doing. It's waiting uh -huh. for something to happen. Yes. It's always waiting for something. And it's never this. It's always looking for something else. Even if it calls this now, now, what it's calling now is something else. It's not this, it's an object that it needs to be, or could be, or could be separate from. So it's an effort, it's some, some it, it confirms its own contracted sense of separate self, an I, a now. So, um, I just ask myself what use it is to to, to go to meetings or to... There's, there's absolutely no use. Uh. It can happen though, that through the exchange and the, and the recognition, through the... What do you say? The, um, through exposing the, mm -hmm. the situation as it is, that can loosen the sense of separateness, the sense of contracted self. They can also... I remember for me, Although I didn't immediately have an awakening or liberation, there it was a sense of still hearing something that felt very much like home. Yes. So, so it was a, it was as best as I could get in a way. Mm. Yeah, that's the same with me. Yeah. That's that's why I keep on going. Mm. It's a funny situation, this, because I, kn I know I can't tell you what this is. I can't mm. show it to you. There's, just, there, mm. there's nothing that can be done about it. It can just mm. be described. Mm. And it's either heard or recognized or not. And is it, is it recognized immediately? Well, it can, obviously sometimes it takes longer, oh. sometimes not so long. There's actually no rules. Mm. And there's no need for a meeting either. It's like you have all these realizations, and you find out that these realizations are only about 
improving your story. Mm. Yeah. Well, they weren't when, when realizations I had weren't about um, improving my story. It very much to do about me being special. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's many people want to be special. Mm -hmm. But isn't that so? I have a big, huge bag of realization. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and 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 then you you have this moment where you just go behind. No. Behind, I don't mean in a in a in a in a yeah. sense. Yeah. So in a broad in a, in a better perspective, mm -hmm. a broader perspective, yeah. No. It's completely different. I would say more like it's a revelation. So something's revealed mm -hmm. or uncovered. Because to the separate sense of I, this looks like it's real, solid, something's happening, you came from somewhere, you're going somewhere, this all fits into a context. Which makes sense, it's called my story. In my, my story, um, I have the main role and I'm very important and my life has meaning and purpose and it's going somewhere. And that's running the entire time. And the reality that this is nothing happening. This is nothing happening. So that's nothing bodying. This is nothing chairing. <clears throat> yeah. This is nothing bodying. It's empty. It's an appearance. Mm -hmm. in, that, in that reality, the separate sense of self is completely undermined. There's no, it has no reality. Then what is real? Nothing. Yes, but how, how can you say that something is unreal if nothing is real? It's not possible. You have to have, you have, to have something real to be able to say that something is unreal. You have to have something real to say that something is unreal. Nothing is real. He asked me what was real. Nothing is real. What is, is the appearance of everything, which is nothing appearing to everything. Yeah. Nothing isn't a black hole. Yeah, nothing, nothing is not, <coughs> not the absence of things. Nothing is, is, is just nothing to the brain. It's just, <coughs> the brain is limited to time. Reflection, like I talked about Max Planck and the beginning of the universe and the Big Bang. The reality from where this all appears is the timeless. This is the timeless appearing as time. So you could say the timeless is real. Okay, but as soon as is it becomes real, it's not real anymore. Uh, I mean, really, you can even uh, you can see it and you can touch it. We can you touch this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's unreal. So the timeless is real, and then things are projected from the timeless, and then it becomes for us real, for you, it's not... No, no, it's real and unreal, it's both. It's an appearance. It's real and unreal. Your story is real and unreal. The one completely unreal thing is the separate sense of self. That's simply an imagination of itself, which makes the real and unreal seem only real. The unreal part is completely hidden. Yes, yeah, so we can say reality is real and unreal. Reality is real and unreal. No, just the appearance is real and unreal. Nothing is real. What the eye, what the separate sense of self wants is something that's real, some place to stand. It's what it looks for. It looks for something real and solid that it can hold on to, even if that's nothing, even if it's timeless. What's being pointed to is there's nowhere, there's no place, there's, there's no center to anything for that separate sense of self to, to have a position. We're talking about positionless unfixedness. Which is this. Even the considered, centered, contracted sense of I is is an uncentered positionlessness appearing as a position. 
So for you, you there is no positioning. So you don't feel in your body. You just feel everywhere at the same time. When you know there's the there's a position because of the body. There's a sense of you know there's perception. It's because you see, you hear exactly yeah, from points. The words make sense. So there's time. But what's recognized is that's an appearance. An appearance that's real and unreal. Right, and when you die, or when this body dies? I'm already dead. No, you're This is dead. dead. <laughs> this is dead. But that's the problem. There's nothing here that's going to die. Yes, but when this body is, is there die. still, there's only what is. It just says what is now, there's what is when the body dies. Yes, but there will, there will be no brain left to perceive it. But see, what you're talking about is, the ex you're saying is the experience of my body, your body, is real. And therefore, when I die, I'm real, everything's going to be different. So, tell me about how that is for you. And what I'm saying is, there's no I here that's going to die. It's already dead. This has already been recognized as death. All there is is what is. The body may die, but in the same way, in the story, I left my house today, my house died. So, it's, it changes always there. There's nothing solid that needs to continue. Nothing depends upon the appearance. Who is the recognizer? Nothing. No one. Mm -hmm. It seems to me, because that's an interesting question, it seems to me that the falling away of the unreal lets the real or what is be recognized mm -hmm. for what it is. It seems to it's me. Recognizes itself. Mm -hmm. It's not really it's yeah. recognizing itself. It's recognizing that what appeared to be isn't real. So, there was a recognition that there never was an I. Yeah, yeah, but uh, there is uh, more than the I to recognize. Really? Not me. Really? When the myth is left, then the one who is recognizing has to, has more to recognize. No one recognizes. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, because uh, no one recognizes them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing recognizes. No, you could say, I, it feels more to me like when the me falls, yeah. what's left mm -hmm. is recognized as everything. Yeah. yeah. Point. Yeah. But whether there's a me there or not, doesn't really, isn't really important. I mean, nothing's important. To here, what the amazing, awesome thing is, is that this is nothing appearing as this. That's just awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this nominality, and phenomenality is the same, yeah? So, I mean, in this context also. Don't know what you mean by noumenality, but phenomenality is just... Nothingness. Okay. It's just yes. nothingness, okay. Nothingness isn't a thing. No. No, and actually you should say it is still beyond this duality, huh? Or well, but that's what this is. Yeah. I mean, you can't describe it. It's yes. impossible to describe. Mm. Nothing isn't nothing, and everything isn't everything. Yeah. It, it's just simply what's happening, and it's not actually what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. It's this. It's, it's just awesome. <laughs> yeah. do, do you distinguish between um, awakening, enlightenment, realization? Some people do often. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I would. Oh. I mean, it's just words. Yeah. It's not different uh, stages or... Well, there, there's no stage in that sense, but it does seem like awakenings or glimpses happen before mm. liberation happens. Mm. Liberation being, for me, the recognition that this is everything, that this is nothing being everything. Mm -hmm. 
So then, uh, when you liberation in, in in this sense would mean what you said. You don't have any doubt anymore. But and with the waking, you can kind of fall back or you have a glimpse and then. Well, it seems like an awakening is there's a center and then there's a centeredlessness and then there's a center mm -hmm. again. And in liberation, there's recognized that there never was a center and everything is simply nothing appearing as everything. That nothing is real. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean nothing is real. That just means nothing is real. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. There's like two, it's like there's two nothings, aren't there, in a way. Is it correct to say in a time, in a time space uh, frame, there is existing the now and the past and the future and my story, and because you died, you realized that this frame doesn't exist. Well, it does it exist. Like it, it exists, and it doesn't, in a way, it doesn't exist. But it's you realize because we, I'm still attached with nobody with my story. Yeah. And for me, is what you're saying still a concept. Yeah. Uh, with give, with. Uh, which gives me a huge release, but yeah. it's still a um, concept for me. Yeah. And sometimes I'm thinking maybe you're tricking this with us, maybe this doesn't exist, yeah. Yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. But is it correct to say there's a frame, and in this frame or... Context, yeah. Context. This context. Yeah, there's an apparent you context. You realized because you, uh, your, your I or me died, it, it doesn't exist. It just comes from, I don't know. How exactly. It's, it's just, it's, it's an appearance. Thing. It's an appearance. Yeah. And you realized that it never existed. I didn't realize anything. No, no. It yeah. was realized. It was it recognized because, because something that appeared to be happening stopped happening. Yeah, but it was never actually existed. Exactly. It never happened. Nothing happened. Yeah. This is nothing happening. So the past and the future is all this appearing as the past and the future. Do the children experience that? I mean, when you are three or four years old, children, they experience that. When they don't, so. don't have the eye, or really. I don't know. I don't know how much the how much is recognized as a child, but it does seem to me that they're very content. Yeah, they're very content and curious about everything. So. And, and there is a there is a, there is a um, a study done with children to find out when the center starts, and so they did an experiment. With, experiment with children, they put a dot on their forehead and put them in front of a mirror. And they found that when they were up before 18 months, they tried to get the dot off the mirror. Meaning there was no sense of center here, yet. so they saw it there. And up by 18 months, they started to try to get it off here. I have very precise memory from where, when I, I got a me. I've heard of that. Yes, it was on my fourth birthday, and I was really Okay, I'm a little boy, I'm four years old today, my whole friends are here for me. Oh, it was very like that, and it's wow. actually my first memory. Wow. Before I really just had glimpses, it was mm. in 1989, and I was really, you know, Berlin, Berlin um, Wall just fell away, and you know, they, they were always talking about that in the news, and I was there, that's never going to come back, at 89 is never going to come back. I'm four years old, and all, all that mm. started that day, and before I have no memories. Maybe mm. glimpses, but nothing. That's the, st the start of my story. Hmm. But when you say everything comes out of nothing, is it? it no. That's not what I mean. Everything is nothing. Yeah. Okay. There's no separation. Yeah. That's where non-duality comes from. Yeah. Is there's no separation. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, but if I have uh, nothingness and everything, all yeah, that's two. It is still two. That's right. That's why I'm saying it's not nothing and everything. Yeah. Therefore, it's nothing is everything. Yeah. Everything is nothing. Yeah. yeah. So nothing beyond this duality. I mean. Which cannot be described. That's this. Yeah. This cannot be described. So then you cannot say nothing. So nothing is everything. Else. Nothing is everything. Everything. Then yeah. it's okay, not nothing. Yeah. Else. Yeah. Exactly. Ah. Yeah. Or everything is nothing being everything. Yeah. It's the same as being and not being, no? Being as nothing. Or being and 
Nothing. Sein oder nicht sein. Ja. Yeah. Nobody has a choice. Hmm? There's no choice. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. So, yeah. yeah all is all what is there. Yeah. It's just this. Yeah. But everything. So there's no, there's no, there's nowhere to focus. There's nothing to try to get. It's everything that's happening. It's every feeling, every thought. It's everything. The feeling of being in high, all of it. That's this. There's nothing to find. It's not anywhere else. No, there was a soul in my body, the door wide awake. I did not come. What is it? The word, the word. Yeah. The door wide awake, the crystal kind of thing. And I think that's the truth, isn't it? Absolutely not. No. No, absolutely. Yeah. The words are so far away from what's trying to what's what's being yeah. described. What's being described is indescribable. So there is no free will, there's no decision possible? But still, there's a brain acting on it on behalf of, of the information that's, right. that's in it. What the brain does is it takes all the information it has to make a decision. It can't add anything it doesn't know, and it can't leave out anything it does. But it forgets. It doesn't really matter. It can't. Nobody's choosing that. It's just a function. Of course, but you know, someone who who's been born in a very nasty family or something mm-hmm. like that, is going to make very wrong de- decisions or is going to... into... Maybe. Maybe not. Direction. Yes, but most of the time, you know, people who were born in, I don't know, very violent families, they, 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 they become drug dealers or whatever, <laughs> negative. You know, it's, it's always the same... Uh, it's not always, of course, but most of the time it's the same pattern. And so, so people with, with positive, you know, with positive information in the brain, make positive decisions, good for them, and they don't destroy themselves. And then you have people who were born in violence or something, and then they they, they are more likely to destroy themselves or to destroy other others. Yeah, but so you're you're just saying what I'm saying that no yes, free so will. It, it, yes, there's no free will. So actually, the brain has information, so the violent ones and everything, and it goes. Further into violence. Well, it, it actually <clears throat> has, in a sense, a choice. It either follows what it knows or reacts against what it knows. That's but it doesn't have any other choices because it's always based on what it knows. So it's so, a choice. No, no, it doesn't. It's always choosing the best choice. Nobody does it. The brain does it. It takes all the information. There's nothing outside of it. That's the point. The thought, the thought that there's a choice, there have to be something external weighing things up. That doesn't happen. So then we also can say memory, no? There is a memory. It comes out, it comes out of Yeah, there's a memory. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Uh-huh. Apparently because there's no past, so how can it be a memory? No, no. There, that, I find that very funny. There is a past, of course. Apparently a past. There's an apparent past. So the, there's an apparent memory. There's apparent memory. Of course there is. Like there's apparent time. If there weren't time, if there weren't past, I couldn't talk to you. Because you have to have a, con- a sort of continuity to make sense of words. Yeah, yeah of course. And yeah. So, so the words, somehow it's real, it's still real. It's and so unreal. That's the problem. That's the problem for me, is it wants something real, it wants to have a position. It is real. It's apparent. Actually, you're not attached to the words. That's the thing. Uh, who? We, we think the world is real because we are attached to it. No, 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 it has nothing to do with attachment. Attachment... Because we react to it. We have an and attachment, attachment has somebody who's detached. And this isn't about detachment. Not detachment uh, in the... I don't mean, I don't mean people who, who don't care about everything, everything. I just mean you are not attached to the world anymore because you don't... Um, well, you don't react to the world. We yeah. react, you know, there's something there. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh. That's not true. The, you, what you're saying is there's someone here that's no longer attached. And that's not, that's the way it is. What's been recognized is that the world, the appearance, what's happening, is a story. It's real and it's unreal. So it is what it is. 
but it has no content, it has no meaning or purpose. It's nothing appearing as a story, appearing as a happening. So this still reacts to the situation, still to the past, gets angry, gets sad, gets happy. Everything happens. I have programs. The brain is programmed from my past. So that's still here. I don't speak French. So it's, the point is, is that the brain, the body, and the appearance of the story is simply nothing appearing as all of that. That's the, that's the bit. It's an appearance. There's nothing real in it. There's nothing to hold on to. And I so desperately want something to hold on to. Isn't it just that the brain makes a decision and after uh, nanoseconds, the me saying, I've done this decision. This is why I've heard the same thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, if you look at it, the, the me is simply a reaction to 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 a reaction. Apparently. Because in the end, what's recognized is that, and I'm not kidding, there is no me. There is no I. And the interesting thing is, is there's not one there now. There's just the sense that there is. And what's the kind of feeling or the kind of impressions one experiences when the self is gone. You, you experience some sense of space or inner, inner space? Or there's moment. nothing, there's certainly nothing to hold on to in the sense that I can't tell you you would feel this mm -hmm. and therefore that's the way it's going to be. Some things I can remember, some things I can't remember, I don't know. It seems like there's, there's, there's nothing in here that thinks that things are as important anymore. Certainly seemed to be a change, the recognition that no one dies, or that this is death, or all there is is death. Death is life, it's the same thing. But it's like being in a warm bathtub. You know, if you don't move, you don't know you're in the bath, you don't know it's warm. And so there's nothing in a way moving here, so there's no real recognition of what the difference would be. There's nothing moving here? No, not in that sense that I would know what it was like before. But what's, that's what you call death. Death. There's nothing moving somehow. Yeah, I can't describe it. Obviously, I can't describe it. No, because then the me, it would be the me who was describing it. I don't know if that's true. I just can't seem to get the right words to describe it. There seems to be... Something that came to me recently was uh, uh, something in the Bible that says, Jesus says, I'll make the mountains, I'll flatten the mountains and raise the valleys. So that it doesn't go like this anymore. It just goes more like this. That seems to be so. But still you get sad, angry. Nobody gets sad and angry. I mean, it just, it's definitely different in that the sense is it does, nothing depends upon it. There's nobody trying to figure it out. Nothing depends upon the sadness or the anger or anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's just what it is. It's just sadness or anger. Or joy. But you don't, you, you don't, you never get dragged back in, into the story? Well, there is a story, obviously. But unconsciously, no, you no, never forget no, you know, it's stage just, or It's recognized as, as an appearance. But you never come back to the ancient state, uh, states anymore. Well, how hard is it for you not to believe in Santa Claus? So, when you realize that there was no Santa Claus, like there's been the recognition there never was a me, what do you do? How do you go back to believing in Santa Claus? I know, but if, you, if I'm projected into a world, a world where there are, you know, 20 centimeters in the streets and everywhere, I will. Uh, ultimately, eventually, I'm going to believe she sent me class uh, again, no? I mean, if you're really in a terrible situation with uh, everything possible happening to you, uh, maybe you're going to, to get dragged back into the story again, no? But there's no one detached from the story. We're still in that thing of being detached. There's nothing here detached from the story. If anything, there's more aliveness, there's more emotion. There's a freedom of everything happening. You can also say that 
saying to play, you're dead for the second. Well, there's nobody playing. No, there is nobody, but there is some sort of uh, uh, connection with that uh, story, but in, a, in another sense. But you're talking about, it sounds like you're talking about somebody being outside the story who's playing with no, the story. No, 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 not somebody, but uh, what is happening, huh? No? You can also know. I don't know. Well, there's just simply what's happening. Yeah. Das würde wie, also wenn, also ich, das wäre so, als wenn man sagen würde, das wäre selbst wie mit dem anderen Selbst. That's how it sounds to me. Yeah. That's what you're saying, yeah. That's, I felt in my mind. There's nothing. So well, it's just, it's, it's, it's just what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, but not the same thing. I think it's so difficult to, um, well, impossible to imagine what, or one of the difficulties is the, the, the contracted self experiences itself as important and it experiences its life as important and, and, it, and, it, and special and so it really thinks that what's going to happen or what it's going to find is going to be special and so you assume that this is somehow special and it's actually sort of, the, it's actually the opposite, it's become very ordinary so there's nothing special. It's ordinary, but still it's, it's awesome. It, well, the story is, we were talking about the story, so the story is no longer needs anything special. The reality that this is nothing happening, that's awesome. But still ordinary. Yeah, it's ordinary. Awesomely ordinary. Yeah. I think somebody asked Suzuki, what is it like? He says, it's all the same, just about two inches off the ground. Off the ground? Off, off uh, so distant from the ground. So okay, he, okay. He's not walking on the ground, he's walking on air. But only two inches. Some things I remember. One thing I can remember is when there was that contraction, there was a sense that I couldn't really... I knew everything was beautiful, but somehow I couldn't... It, it somehow I felt blocked from seeing how beautiful it all was. So you felt somehow rejected from life? Also. No, no. <laughs> no, just I would see, I don't know, a, a, a sunset or a flower or a, a leaf or something. And I would see that it was beautiful, but somehow I couldn't, I knew it was more beautiful than I could recognize. Does that make sense to you? And that's fallen away. Now there's just beauty, or there's just love. So that's the difference. Yeah, because the separation was there. Don't know what it was. I think it might have been the me trying to see beauty. Yeah. Trying to have it, trying to hold yeah. it. Maybe we are enlightened, but, but we don't know it. Maybe we lost the self, but we don't know it. You know, it's more true than you know. <laughs> oh. Well, because there isn't anyone there now. There never well, was. Maybe I already realized it, but I don't know it. Well, no, see, that won't happen. What do you mean? So it wouldn't happen, but I don't realize it. Well, I mean, there are people where I said that, you know, the me falls away in the end, and they didn't recognize it going. But there's no doubt afterwards of whether there's I'm a meeting or not. Yeah. No. Well, I think I was in a strange in between state actually. Because yeah. It's oh, very really strange. Good. I had a very. I had big moments. I know that it sounds like the me speaking about you, know, something special happened. I had a strange moment at my piano lesson last week. Uh, I had played some uh, a piece that I've been working on for months, really uh, difficult one. And it's always very emotional, the piano lesson, you know, because the teacher is very... Mm -hmm. uh, it's industrial, classical piano teacher, you know, with 
Yeah, you, you can sit slightly. <laughs> <laughs> it's always very emotional to play in front yeah. of me. And there something really strange happened. I really could open myself and it was really the first time because I've, I've been working with him for one year and I never really felt so at ease in this lesson because I'm always you know, a bit verkrampft. Mm -hmm. And I played this, that thing really well mm -hmm. and he was very happy about it. He was listening to me from behind. And then he said something like, Oh, Thomas, das ist eine gute Stunde. Ah, das ist eigentlich heute beendet, das Stück. Du, hast, du, du bist fertig. Und das ist eigentlich uh, it's, it's actually my big difficulty to, 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 to play a piece really, really well. I play a lot of things, but I can't mm. push a piece really to, to perfection or mm. to almost perfection. And when he said that to me, really, something snapped and, or something, something happened. Mm. And there was just a teacher looking at the notes, the mm. cheap music, and there was the fading light of the, of the evening falling on him. Mm. And there was really that sense of broader space and, and mm. really a lot of space and a, a lot of beauty mm. and something really was lasting. Uh, exactly, that's it. But it didn't last for long. No. And, it, and, it, and I didn't really feel when it came back, actually. Mm. We, we just went to the next piece, which wasn't so good. Totally. But, yeah. But it was not permanent, it was just... But it was so present, you know, it mm. was, I just saw him, oh my god, he's beautiful, this man, he's so, oh, I love him. Mm. I would call that a, a glimpse. Yeah, it was. That's really what I would call that, a glimpse. And what happens, can happen, sometimes, when, when people run into this message, is, is that the, um, the contraction loosens up. And so there's maybe more glimpses. Mm -hmm. Yes, but... It doesn't the, happen. But on the other hand... You know, in, in the six last months, I've been experiencing, experiencing so many like this. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel just completely distressed, really, uh, when I wake up most of the time. I'm really completely stressed out in my bed for no reason. Absolutely no reason. I'm just feeling, I don't know why, completely... And I feel also that I've never been so close to madness sometimes. <laughs> the, the, the me will do anything to maintain its superiority in the situation. Anything. It's petrifying, this. Petrifying. Petrifying. Yeah, exactly. Amazingly, this is an incredibly rare message because it's so impossible. It leaves nothing. It's the razor's edge. It's just nothing left. It's that's just this. And that really is terrifying to me, to the contracted sense of self. Not even consciousness. <laughs> Not even consciousness. <laughs> Is, is freedom the same thing as liberation? Absolutely, yeah. This is freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is liberation. Mm -hmm. This is complete, perfect. This. this. Exactly mm -hmm. as it is. So now, it that's the way it controls, it, it, that's the way it thinks that's it controls. That's what I'm experiencing, yeah. that I want to make sense out of it. Yeah. It doesn't. You can give up now. <laughs> <laughs> but some parts know already. Yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like a conflict. Yeah? Between yeah. The, the 
one who wants to make sense out of it, yeah. and the knowing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still this back and forth between these two states. Yeah. Mm. Wanting to make sense and knowing are the same thing. Mm. Wanting to make sense and knowing yeah. are the same thing. Same. Yeah. Well, that's a good point, yeah. Uh, is it possible that the law of, of attraction exists, you know, when you are... Everything exists. Anything does, does exists. Does that work? I, I mean, work is, is it's not a good word because you can't really make it work, right? because you have no free will. Or, I don't know, but you know, if you, if you get to be enlightened or awakened or whatever, um, you attract them nice experiences, or I don't know, money, you know, travel. <laughs> Is that possible? Because no, I, no, of course, you don't do it on purpose, of course. But does it happen? If you project love, you are more likely to project a lot of love and a lot of positive feelings when you are awakened. What you're telling me is that something's going to change, where you think something's going to be different when the me draws. So what you're saying is the me is right. Something is missing. Something needs to happen. There's something else. And what what's being said is. Nothing's missing, there is nothing else, and there is no me. This is it. So I'm right. contracting the self at the moment. It is uh -huh. very stubborn, I'm contracting the self because I'm trying to... What you're telling me now is there's a separate I yeah. that's contracting the self. So there's two things going on, that's not the way it is. There's imagination of itself, which is a contraction in the body, which is literally felt in the body as a center to everything that's happening, everything's happening to me. When that falls away, all there is is everything. When that falls away, it's also recognized that it was never there. It was just simply an illusion. That all there is is this, and this is nothing appearing as this. That's what's happening. It's empty. It's completely empty, meaningless, purposeless. But it is like that now. So nothing changes. And everything. But still something changes. Still something the, changes. The, the you are two inches above the, the ground. <laughs> 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 you know, I guess the best thing to do is just say it's indescribable. Because it's indescribable. Because every time I try to describe it, it seems like I'm talking... I'm, there's something there that thinks it understands or knows. And what I'm talking about is something that's not understandable or knowable. But that doesn't mean it's special, which is what the, the contracted self always thinks when it hears that's indescribable. Oh, it must be special. But it's definitely special. Yeah, well, it's not, that's the point, it's not special. It's the contracted sense of I that thinks it has to be special. It thinks it's going to get something. And what's even funnier is it even thinks that loss, when I say it's going to lose something, it thinks that's going to be a gain. But it somehow it's the same, loss is a gain. Yeah, well it's not. It's a negative gain. No, well... <laughs> 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 Nothing happens. It's the end of something that never happened. It's this already. What is happening? It is this. That's right. It's full stop. Full stop. It's 
it's about satisfaction also in every moment you are just satisfied there's al it's always enough what, you need, what it is you don't need some, something else for it I guess maybe I could say that um, it's not fulfillment but it's the end of being unfulfilled so it's the loss of something missing it's not the gaining of what the me thinks it's going to get it's the <laughs> loss of the lack it's the loss of need it's the loss for the story to have meaning and purpose. It's a loss that the story needs to look a certain way. It doesn't mean then that the story then looks the way the me would want it to look if it were there before it was gone. You know, it's not like that. It's the loss for the need for it to be a particular way. So that doesn't mean that if I lose my leg that, <clears throat> that I then no longer have a need to scream or sew it up or do anything like that. It's, it's the extra bit to that where that would make it in a way personal. But they would still be going to the hospital and getting sewn up and crying and screaming and all those things or whatever else would happen. And what do you mean when you say it's the end of unfulfillment but it's not fulfillment yet? Yeah. Why? Why is it? Why is it? Well, it? because if I say fulfillment it seems like you'll have an idea that you'll be happy all the time or that my life will be great, or something like that. And that's just not the way it is. It's the loss of the need, an unfulfilled need all the time. But that doesn't mean that there's no hunger, and there's only bliss, and there's only, you know, my oh, shit doesn't just, stay. You said it last time, it's paradise. It's just paradise. Yeah, but that's not, as a, that's not like my story is paradise. This is paradise. This is perfection. This is complete. Because it doesn't need to be anything else. But me being unhappy because my leg's been cut off is complete, is paradise, is perfection. Me being sad because something's happened in my life is perfection. Because I don't identify with the life. There's yeah. not identification. There's nobody there to identify. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 it's nothing special. It's nothing... I'm doing a very poor job today, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So if they cut off your leg, it's going to be there's going to be suffering, but it's going to be pleasant. <laughs> See, that's what the me thinks. It's always going to be happy. The point is, is that unhappiness is no longer a problem. Ah, okay. It's just simply unhappiness. Arising and yeah. suffering because of your leg. It, well, I, I have both of them still. No. Yeah. It's the extra bit which goes away. The extra bit, which says this is personal. There's still preferences and characteristics and all of that stuff. There's still programming and all those things. And so, if uh, I'm sorry about the leg, but you know, if they cut your leg off and you're going to the Franken house, yeah, hospital, you're not going to. You don't want another leg because you're satisfied or you're fulfilled still without any legs. So you're not no, going to no. want to have another leg. The point is, is that what's happening is what's happening. So that's and that's no completely one. inclusive. It's just that it's not happening for anyone. It's not personal. You don't need to be personal to scream for pain. And so there won't be any desire that the pain stops. Why not? Because there is a personal and there is no one to suffer and, you know. Yeah, there's a concept there about what it's like when the me drops that has something to do with a perfected life. It seems to me what you've got is a concept of what it would be to be enlightened. This idea of being detached and being fulfilled and being everything being okay. <clears throat> We're only talking about two inches. We're not talking about ten feet. So everything's still the same. There's just something missing or something lost that 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 it shouldn't be that way. It's the shouldn't, it's the should and shouldn't sort of falls away. It's the need. The need for it to be a different falls away. 
So, but the need different doesn't mean that I wouldn't ask for pain medication. It's not about suffering. I hear people talk about suffering, that they need to... Um, Get it away with? Well, they need to, you know, suffer through it, to detach in a way. They need to suffer through their loneliness. They need to suffer through this or that or the other thing, as though there's some value mm -hmm. in, in suffering. And there isn't. There isn't any value in anything. Because there's no need for anything, because it's not going anywhere. You know, what we're talking about is this. Anything else is a story. Isn't it about allowing? No! <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to allow? It's, it's about everything that's happening. Am I, am I, I'm, I'm not speaking well today. <laughs> no, just not speaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no asking is happening. <laughs> it's nothing asking our question. Somebody has to say something. <laughs> Stop. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to leave. <laughs> and of course, you don't feel uh, there's no urge in your body to awaken us all. You just don't care. But still, you're happy when someone awakens in your presence. Yeah, it's sort of like that, actually. The, the reality is that I, there's nothing that can be done. That's just the way it is. There's nothing that can be done. Let those that have ears to hear, hear. But nobody hears. There's no one who can make the choice. So you can't do a good job, obviously. Thank you, that's right. <laughs> you uh, you uh, have I don't know, all, all these um, citates of the Bible. Why? I don't know. I read the Bible. I was really interested in stuff like that for a while. Mm -hmm. do, what, do you, what do you think about the Bible? Well, religion is hope. Yeah. Yeah, basically. So, uh, is the Bible a fiction, or is some real, kind you know, of reality? <clears throat> there were hundreds of texts, hundreds, yeah. and there were a number of Bibles that came out. There was one before Constantine, and Constantine came out with the Bible, and then in 382, the Pope people got together and, and created a Bible for a story that fit with their stuff. But I think this message has always been there. It's just sort of hidden. It's just, it's always there. You can find it in all religions, I find. You can find, you know, texts that sort of relate to this. So, who was Jesus? Who knows? Who knows if he even existed? But I get the sense that he knew what he was talking about, that there was something there that had recognized this. I get that sense. I don't have an idea. Of course, there was no Jesus. It was just an appearance. Yeah, exactly. I am not doing so bad today. I'm going to kill on a good job. No, because I, I'm so interested because of people, religious people are so dependent on, on like, well, the Quran, so mm. like, what did somebody tell, like, thousands of years ago, and still believe it's, it's like true. But the contracted sense of yeah. I is dependent. Yeah. It's dependent on the appearance being real, mm -hmm. so that it can find its meaning and purpose in this, so that it, it confirming its own existence. It's, whether you call it religion or yeah. vegan or whatever you call it, 
It, it always has that. It can't help but do that. Yeah. Everything it does is an effort to, to find a solution to itself. Mm -hmm. To improve life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To find happiness and avoid pain. Mm -hmm. 